Ladies and gentlemen, here comes another yummy series. Hello, lovelies. Welcome back to my kitchen. If it's your first time here, my name is Chinwe. Today, I share how to make Ofaku stew. Guys, if you try this stew, you will never want to eat tomato stew ever again. It's super flavorful and delicious. Please subscribe to our channel if you haven't. Thank you and let's start cooking. To make this ofaku, I will be using fresh tomatoes. I've gone ahead to give it a nice wash with my scotch bonnet pepper. I will cut it into big chunks and steam it. I've gone ahead to cook my choice of protein for this ofaku. I've got goat meat, shrimp, and gizzard. I will take out the goat meat and grill it. Okay guys, I will be adding fish and my choice of fish for this ofaku is mackerel. I've already cleaned it properly. Next, I will season it with aromat and grill it as well. At this time, the tomatoes is ready. I'm going to set it aside for later use. Next, I will dissolve my palm fruit concentrate with hot water and allow it to settle because sands always settle at the bottom. Once that is done, I will cover and allow it to cook for 15 minutes until oil floats on top. Please don't add anything at this point. You need to cook this palm fruit concentrate very well, otherwise you will not like the taste of your ofaku. Next, I will grind my crayfish, ehuru, that is calabash nutmeg, okbei and set it aside. If you don't have obey, you can use only calabash nutmeg. That is totally fine. Once that is done, next I will use my mortar to mash my tomatoes and set it aside. If you don't have mortar, you can use your spoon to mash it because we are aiming for rough texture, not smooth. The palm fruit concentrate has been cooking for 15 minutes. As you can see, the oil has floated on top. Next, I will go in with the stock, proteins, mashed tomatoes, and my blended onions. Mix to combine, cover, and allow it to cook for 6 to 7 minutes before adding other ingredients. I will be using curry leaf and fresh spinach. I will go ahead and prep them off camera. The stew has been cooking for 7 to 8 minutes. Next, I will go in with my grounded crayfish, seasoning cubes, and my roasted mackerel. Mix thoroughly and allow it to cook for another 5 minutes. After 5 minutes, I will go in with my fresh curry leaves. Mix to combine. Next, I will cover and allow it to simmer for 2 to 3 minutes. Yes, enough cooking. If you cook your ofaku very well, you will definitely enjoy it. After 3 minutes, I will go in with my fresh spinach. Mix to combine and allow it to simmer for 2 minutes. And after 2 minutes, our ofaku is ready. This ofaku needs a lot of cooking. You need time and patience so that your ofaku will taste nice. That is it for today's video. Thank you all for watching. Thank you for your love and support. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please take a moment to subscribe. Share our videos with your friends and families. Thank you and always be positive. And see you in our next video. Bye guys.